Doc, I swear I have PCOS. Well, Sheena, I'm so very sorry to hear that. What, what makes you think you have PCOS? I don't know if you can tell. I got a little bit of facial hair growing. It's not bad, though, but just a little bit around here. So that's been weird. A little bit of back knee. A um, little bit of aggression. Girl cut me off in traffic. That bitch had it coming. And I've kind of getting big. Well, I can certainly see the facial hair seems to be growing a bit more rapidly, but would you also say your voice is a bit deeper than the, the last time I saw you? Um, it's a little bit deep. I don't know. What do you think? Well, Sheena, one way we can get a better idea of where you are in terms of your symptoms and this PCOS possibility would be to look at your labs. Now, one concerning aspect here is it does appear as though your testosterone is over 1,000 nanograms per deciliter. That, that is quite high. Oh, that's PCOS, high androgens, right? I've also had a little time um, losing any fat lately. So we could look at my thyroid later too, but it's for sure PCOS. I read in a magazine. Is it possible that you've been taking anything or doing anything different out of your normal routine? Um, it's like vitamin D3. Oh, Oh, like testosterone? Yeah, I've been on a little bit. How much testosterone have you been taking? Um, let's see, um, 20, 20, 200 milligrams a week. 200 milligrams, Sheena. 200 milligrams is quite high. Are you sure? 200 milligrams or a thousand, whatever you said. 200 milligrams is in fact approximately 10 times the dose that a woman of your age and stature would normally be taking for hormone replacement therapy. Oh my gosh, doc. By the way, I love your accent. Um, I think I'm supposed to be taking 20 milligrams and I've been taking 200. Oh my gosh, this is all making... Okay, I'm literally, I'm t I feel like I'm turning into a man. This is all making so much sense. Oh no, big, big dummy. I'm a big dummy.